Hey folks, it's Trina here, and today I wanted to show you um, a course that I'm putting together on what paleontologists do and the process that they follow for finding and then excavating fossils. So I'm just going to click the start button here, and we'll walk through each of the steps. Just using the next button to navigate through. Okay, so this works, right? I've got um, back here in story view, you can see I've got each step of the process on its own slide. Um, it's nice and chunked out, so that's fine. Uh, but it's a little, a little dull, a little linear. Um, it definitely feels more like a presentation. Um, however, when you contrast that with this version, let me show you how this looks. In this version, I'm only using slide layers. So what I've created here is um, a little menu of sorts. And so I'm having my learner simply click on the step to reveal the detailed information. Um, and that information lives on a layer. So there's step one and step two, step three, all the same basic information as the first version. Only now we're clicking through here. Great. So having all of this on one slide is really going to save me a lot of time um, when it comes time to maintain this course. And more importantly, it really is just a tiny bit easier for learners to absorb and it's a little more fun for them to engage with um, than just clicking the next button. Also, it's really nice, I think, to see all of the steps um, at kind of a high level all on one slide. Um, so again, just makes it a little bit easier to, um, to absorb and get the scope of it. So let me show you how easy this really is to build in Storyline. I'm going to pop over here to my work in progress project so I can show you. Um, here I am on the base layer of the slide. You'll see I've got layers one and two already built out. Let's go ahead and build together layer three. So I'm just going to click on the new layer icon and I'm going to double click here real quick and change this to 03 just to label that and make it nice and clear. And just to save myself a little bit of time, I'm going to grab this colored rectangle uh, by hitting Control C on my um, already finished layer two. And back here on layer three, I'm just going to hit Control V and paste that in. And then I had previously laid out all this content, as you know, on individual slides. So now I'm just going to copy that over. So I'm just going to grab all of these bits and pieces here and hit Control C to copy them. And then back on my third layer, I'm going to just paste them here. Now, previously, all of this content was on a light colored background, but now it's on a dark colored background. So we're not really able to see the text. Um, that's easy to fix. What we can do is just click, click, and I'm holding down the shift key as I'm clicking on all of these text boxes. So I've got them all selected at once, and I can just go up here and select the font color and change them all at the same time. Now we're almost done. There is one last thing we need to do and we need to insert some sort of um, object for learners to click on to close this layer. So I'm just going to go up here and insert uh, one of Storyline's pre-built buttons. Uh, I'm going to make it an X button and I don't want it to have any fill or border. Okay. And then I just need to add a quick trigger to this to say that when the learner um, clicks this button that we hide this layer. All right, so now back over here, I'm on my base layer. All I need to do is add a quick trigger so that when the learner clicks on this, it shows that third layer with all the content I've just copied and pasted over. So here I just need to click on show layer. So I've got my step three box selected. I'm showing the layer 03 when the user clicks on step three. Now let's take a look at our slide. All right, so we click on step three and we see step three. Brilliant. And it really is that easy.